Hi to every one of you. Once more, greetings from Book Elixir. Today, we're going to explore a groundbreaking book that has been making waves in the business community. The book, $100 Million Offers, How to Make Offers So Good People Feel Stupid Saying No, was written by Alex Hormozzi. That if you're ready to elevate your sales game, you're going to enjoy this. Let's go going now. Welcome to a journey of transformation and business mastery, a journey guided by the pages of $100 Million Offers by Alex Hormozzi. In a world where success is measured by the impact of your offers, this book stands as a beacon, illuminating the path to crafting irresistible propositions that not only captivate but propel businesses to extraordinary heights. As the digital marketplace becomes increasingly dynamic and competitive, the ability to create offers that resonate and stand out is paramount. Hormozzi, a seasoned entrepreneur and expert in the art of crafting compelling offers, shares his wealth of knowledge and experiences to empower businesses, both budding and established, with the tools they need to thrive in this challenging landscape. From the psychological intricacies that underpin successful offers to the practical strategies for scaling and navigating pitfalls, each chapter is a revelation. Hormozzi's insights are not just theoretical, they are battle-tested principles derived from real-world successes, so, whether you're a seasoned business owner looking to revitalize your approach or an aspiring entrepreneur eager to make a mark, join us as we delve into the world of $100 million offers. Prepare to rethink, reimagine, and revolutionize the way you approach the creation of offers, because in the realm of business, crafting irresistible offers isn't just an art, it's a science, and Alex Hormozzi is our guide through this transformative journey. Chapter 1, Introduction, Of Course In the first chapter of $100 Million Offers, Alex Hormozzi skillfully introduces the reader to the realm of strategic business thinking by highlighting how crucial it is to create offers that are too good to refuse in the present competitive market. He creates a compelling image of the business world, which is marked by intense competition and continual change, and where success is determined by one's capacity to make unique proposals. Hormozzi's examination of consumer psychology deepens the story by examining the subtleties of why particular offers captivate people. He piques interest and emphasizes the strategic significance of matching offers with the fundamental motivations and aspirations of the target audience by establishing the foundation for understanding the psychological underpinnings of decision-making. In the course of the chapter, readers are drawn into Hormozzi's story by her skillful weaving of personal tales and actual incidents. He builds credibility and gives the ideas real-life examples by sharing stories from his own path, showing how skillfully written proposals have contributed to both his own and other success in the business world. One common element is the idea that an offer is more than just a transactional exchange. Offerings are positioned by Hormozzi as dynamic instruments that can help them build stronger bonds with their clients. This viewpoint pushes readers to consider offers as a strategic tool for fostering customer loyalty and brand development in addition to being a way to increase revenue. Hormozzi's prose exudes enthusiasm and intensity, which serves as a call to action. He urges readers to reconsider their strategy. To present and identify the unrealized possibilities in this frequently disregarded facet of corporate strategy. This lays the groundwork for the voyage ahead and builds suspense for the tips and tricks that will be revealed in the next chapters on making offers that are so alluring that people are virtually forced to accept them. Essentially, Chapter 1 serves as an engrossing introduction beckoning readers to delve into the art and science of crafting offers that make a splash in a congested market. Chapter 2, 
the power of an irresistible offer, of course. In the second chapter of $100 million Offers, Alex Hormozzi delves into the profound and revolutionary effects of creating compelling offers in the corporate world. The chapter explores the idea that an alluring offer creates a deep connection with the target audience in addition to grabbing their attention, which fosters brand loyalty over the long run and spurs rapid business growth. Hormozzi supports his arguments with case studies and real-world examples, showing how companies have found amazing success by realizing the potential of attractive offerings. He stresses that these kinds of deals leave a lasting impression, setting companies apart in cutthroat marketplaces and encouraging word-of-mouth recommendations. The psychological underpinnings of consumer behavior are also covered in this chapter, where ideas like perceived value, scarcity, and urgency are examined. Businesses may deliberately create offerings that connect with customers emotionally by knowing these psychological triggers. Hormozzi introduces the concept of value-driven offers, challenging the prevalent wisdom that alluring deals are only about reduced pricing. He emphasizes how crucial it is to match offers to the requirements and preferences of customers in cases where the perceived value greatly exceeds the actual cost, Readers have a deep understanding of the potential transformational power of attractive offerings by the end of Chapter 2. Readers are inspired to reconsider their marketing strategies and take into account the strategic opportunities that arise from creating offers that are so alluring that buyers are compelled to say yes by Hormozzi's captivating storytelling and perceptive analysis. This chapter encourages readers to use the power of compelling offers for long-term business success by acting as a strategic guide and laying the groundwork for the practical methods that will be disclosed in later chapters. Chapter 3, The Psychology Behind a Successful Offer, Of Course In $100 Million Offers, Chapter 3, Alex Hormozzi explores the complex field of consumer psychology and how it affects offer success. The chapter emphasizes how crucial it is to comprehend the mental and emotional aspects that affect consumers' decisions to buy. Hormozzi investigates the ways in which persuasive offers elicit particular emotions, almost instinctively prompting the recipient to accept the offer, perceived value the notion that buyers assess offerings based on their sense of worth rather than just the material benefits, is a major theme of the chapter. Hormozzi emphasizes how crucial it is to strategically match offers to customer views of value in order to maximize appeal and support expenditures. The chapter also explores cognitive biases, highlighting how companies can take use of societal prejudices such as loss aversion and social proof to improve the efficacy of their offers. Case studies and real-world examples are given to show how profitable companies have exploited these psychological concepts to craft enticing offers. Chapter 3 is essentially a useful manual for companies who want to learn more about the psychology of their customers. Through an exploration of the cognitive and emotional factors that impact decision-making, Hormozzi equips readers to craft offers that not only grab attention but also deeply connect with customers psychologically. Chapter 4 – Understanding Your Audience, Of Course In Chapter 4 of $100 Million Offers, Alex Hormozzi emphasizes how crucial it is to comprehend your target market in order to craft offers that are both captivating and memorable. This chapter offers guidance to companies on how to carry out efficient market research and learn about the requirements, inclinations, and preferences of their target market. Successful offers, according to Hormozzi, are based on a thorough comprehension of the individuals they are intended to draw. He talks about how important market research is for learning important details about the target market, such as their desires, pain spots, and purchasing patterns. 
The chapter explores the useful applications of audience segmentation, emphasizing the significance of pinpointing niches within the larger target market. Businesses can make their services more relevant and appealing by customizing them to fit the distinct needs and preferences of various market segments. Hormozy also delves into the idea of developing buyer personas, which are made-up depictions of ideal clients derived from actual data and market research. Businesses may personalize their target customer by creating thorough buyer personas, which makes it simpler to craft offerings that actually appeal to the targeted segments. Chapter 4 is essentially an introduction to the offer generation process. Stressing that in order to create offers that are appealing, organizations must have a thorough understanding of their target market. By doing this, businesses may better match their strategies to the unique requirements and driving forces of their clientele, raising the possibility that they will develop offerings that not only appeal to their target audience but also truly satisfy their demands. Chapter 5 the components of a winning offer, certainly in his book 100M Offers Chapter 5 Alex Hormozy explores the key elements of a winning offer. In-depth examination of the critical components that make an offer successful is provided in this chapter with a focus on the importance of taking a calculated and deliberate approach. In his opening section Hormozy dissects the components of a strong offer emphasizing the significance of a compelling value proposition he delves into the ways in which companies can set themselves apart from the competition by succinctly expressing the special advantages and benefits that they offer to clients. The importance of pricing strategy is also covered in this chapter in his discussion of different pricing strategies and models Hormozy emphasizes the significance of striking the correct balance between perceived value and cost businesses can maintain profitability while improving the appeal of their offers by carefully arranging their prices. Hormozy also examines the idea of bundling which is the practice of merging several goods or services into a single deal he talks about how bundling may raise sales and improve customers' perceptions of value while providing useful advice on how companies can put effective bundling tactics into practice. Another important topic addressed in this chapter is the introduction of bonuses and incentives. According to Hormozy, incorporating extra value, whether in the form of incentives, time-limited offers, or special discounts, can greatly increase an offer's attractiveness and encourage client interaction. Hormozy highlights the dynamic nature of offer creation throughout the chapter, urging companies to constantly innovate and improve their strategy in response to market feedback and shifting consumer preferences. All things considered, Chapter 5 provides a thorough overview of the elements of a successful offer. Hormozy gives companies the information and understanding necessary to develop offers that stand out in the market and appeal to clients by breaking down the numerous components, which eventually increases conversions and boosts company success. Chapter 6, Pricing Strategies for Maximum Impact, of course. Alex Hormozy explores the nuances of pricing tactics in Chapter 6 of $100 million Offers, highlighting their critical role in crafting offers that maximize the impact on customers and business profitability. Hormozy starts out by stressing the significance of strategic pricing and how it involves more than just giving a good or service a number. Value-based pricing, competitive pricing, and dynamic pricing are just a few of the pricing models that are covered in this chapter. Hormozy offers insights into how companies can strategically choose the best price plan in accordance with their goals and market positioning. This chapter's main idea is the idea of perceived value. Hormozy talks about how companies can make their offers seem more valuable by matching their prices to the special features and advantages they have to offer. 
He examines the psychological ramifications of price and how it shapes consumer views, emphasizing the importance of value perception in determining consumers' willingness to pay. The chapter also explores the significance of testing and refining pricing methods. Hormozy supports a flexible strategy, advising companies to collect information, evaluate client feedback, and modify price plans as necessary. Businesses can optimize their price through this iterative process, the topic of discounting tactics and their possible impacts on consumer behavior is also covered. Hormozy offers insights on the best times and ways for companies to use discounts, making sure that these tactics support larger objectives without jeopardizing long-term profitability. To put it briefly, Chapter 6 offers businesses a comprehensive understanding of the different approaches and factors that go into pricing, acting as a strategic guide. With the help of Hormozy's ideas, readers can develop pricing strategies that will not only optimize the impact of their offerings but also cultivate profitable and long-lasting connections with their customers. Chapter 7. Crafting Compelling Copy, Of Course In $100 Million Offers, Chapter 7, Alex Hormozy explores the craft of producing enticing copy, emphasizing the importance of persuasive writing in making offers too good to refuse. Hormozy starts off by highlighting the importance of written communication in expressing the worth and advantages of an offer. He delves into the psychological elements of successful copywriting, realizing that it involves more than just imparting knowledge and involves crafting an engaging story that appeals to the intended readership. The chapter explores the essential elements of persuasive copy, such as persuasion, clarity, and empathy. Hormozy provides useful advice on how companies can convey their product's distinctive value proposition in a way that is both understandable and emotionally compelling. This chapter centers on the idea of narrative. Hormozy talks about how constructing a story around the offer can draw in the audience and make it a more interesting and memorable event. Businesses can improve the overall efficacy of their copy by relating to the feelings and goals of their target audience. Hormozy also offers advice on how to respond to typical queries and worries in the text, providing methods to get over any obstacles that would prevent a buyer from making a purchase. Hormozy emphasizes the value of testing and fine-tuning copy in light of user input and market reactions throughout the entire chapter. He exhorts companies to employ data-driven copywriting techniques to make sure that the language used in marketing materials corresponds with the tastes and expectations of the intended audience. To sum up, Chapter 7 provides an extensive manual for creating attractive content that makes offers more appealing. Hormozy's insights enable organizations to effectively explain their value emotionally connect with customers, and handle potential objections, all of which contribute to more successful and convincing offers. Chapter 8, Testing and Iterating, Of Course In $100 Million Offers, Chapter 8, Alex Hormozy delves into the critical process of testing and refining offers in response to data and feedback from the real world. The chapter highlights the dynamic aspect of developing winning offers and stresses the value of ongoing testing-based development. Hormozy presents the idea of A-B testing, in which companies test out different iterations of their offers in order to determine which components work best. Businesses can obtain important insights into client preferences and tailor their products by methodically evaluating various elements, such as pricing, copy, or appearance. Hormozy offers helpful advice on how to put up efficient testing. Emphasizing the significance of precise metrics and goals, he exhorts companies to have a curious mindset when doing testing, 
seizing the chance to improve their tactics and get insight from client feedback. The chapter also explores how the iterative approach uses customer feedback. Hormozy talks about how actively seeking out and paying attention to consumer feedback can reveal insightful information that might not be visible from just looking at quantitative data. Businesses can remain aware of the changing demands and preferences of their customers by using this customer-centric approach. Additionally, Hormozy investigates the idea of scalability in iteration and testing. He talks about how profitable companies think about scaling up these optimizations to reach a larger audience in addition to optimizing certain aspects of their offers. Essentially, Chapter 8 emphasizes the value of agility and adaptation in the competitive corporate environment and acts as a strategic manual for the iterative process. Businesses can remain ahead of the curve and make sure that their offers continue to be appealing and resonate with their target audience over time by regularly testing and improving them based on both quantitative and qualitative feedback. Chapter 9, Overcoming Objections, Of Course In his book, $100 Million Offers, Chapter 9, Alex Hormozy discusses the importance of overcoming objections and identifying and resolving potential consumers' issues. Hormozy starts out by stating that reservations are normal during the purchasing process and are frequently the result of doubts or hesitations. This chapter examines useful tactics that companies can use to recognize typical objections and create strong counterarguments. It is stressed how important it is to understand the customer's point of view. Hormozy talks on how important it is to comprehend objections from the perspective of the customer. This helps companies create responses that not only fulfill the client's requirements and desires but also solve their concerns. The chapter explores the idea of responding to objections at different points in the customer experience. Hormozy offers insights into reactive objection handling, which deals with resolving objections as they are brought up by clients, as well as proactive objection handling, which aims to foresee and handle such issues before they arise. Furthermore, Hormozy examines how effective communication might help you overcome objections. He talks about how honesty and openness may help businesses gain the trust of their clients. He emphasizes that companies should be proactive in answering questions and supplying information in their marketing materials and communication channels. Throughout the chapter, effective objection handling techniques are demonstrated through real-world examples and case studies. Hormozy advises companies to see objections as chances to improve consumer relations and modify their offers in light of insightful feedback rather than as barriers to be overcome. In conclusion, Chapter 9 offers businesses practical insights to effectively navigate and handle client problems. It also acts as a strategic guide for overcoming obstacles. Businesses may develop offers that not only draw attention from their target audience but also inspire confidence and commitment by proactively resolving issues and establishing trust. Chapter 10, Case Studies of Successful Offers, in $100 Million Offers, Chapter 10, Alex Hormozy provides a number of case studies illustrating actual instances of successful bids. This chapter provides a practical examination of how companies in a range of industries have successfully applied the concepts covered in previous chapters to attain notable success in order to provide readers with important takeaways and lessons they may implement in their own enterprises, Hormozy examines these case studies. Every case study offers a thorough analysis of the tactics used, the difficulties encountered, and the results obtained. Hormozy wants to extract practical lessons from these success stories that companies may apply to improve their own offer development and execution procedures. 
The chapter offers a practical and concrete understanding of how these concepts have translated into success for many firms, in addition to reinforcing the theoretical notions covered in earlier chapters. The case studies are motivating instances that demonstrate how the ideas presented in $100 million offers may be used to a variety of business situations while being flexible and successful. In conclusion, Chapter 10 is an invaluable tool for readers to gain applicable knowledge from other companies' experiences. Readers can learn more about how to apply the tactics and principles covered in the book to their own particular situations by examining successful offers in a variety of scenarios. This will ultimately enable readers to design offers that are both appealing and effective for their target audiences. Chapter 11, Scaling Your Offers, Alex Hormozzi delves into the strategic process of scaling offers in Chapter 11 of $100 million offers, with the aim of expanding the offer's reach and achieving significant business development. Hormozzi starts off by noting how crucial scalability is to the success of businesses and how products should be created with future growth in mind. This chapter gives useful advice on how companies could methodically increase their offerings while accounting for infrastructure, customer service, and marketing channels. One important area of concentration is the idea of using technology in automation to achieve scalability. Hormozzi talks on how companies can use automation to increase customer reach. Optimize workflows and guarantee a reliable and effective customer experience as they grow. The chapter explores how scaling offers involves data-driven decision-making. Hormozzi highlights how important data analysis is for seeing patterns, maximizing output, and guiding tactical choices. Businesses can improve their products, marketing plans, and operational procedures by utilizing data to better satisfy the needs of their expanding clientele. The chapter uses case studies and real-world examples to demonstrate effective scaling techniques. Hormozzi offers insights into how companies have grown their consumer base and reach without compromising the caliber of their products or services. Essentially, Chapter 11 offers organizations aiming to successfully scale their offers a set of strategic guidelines. Companies may make sure that their products not only appeal to a wider audience but also retain the efficacy and attractiveness that fueled their early success by using a methodical and data-driven approach. Chapter 12. Avoiding Common Pitfalls in $100 million offers, Chapter 12, Alex Hormozzi discusses the possible obstacles and traps that companies could run into when formulating and executing offers. The chapter acts as a guide to assist readers in avoiding typical mistakes and roadblocks, empowering them to make wise decisions and raise their chances of success. Hormozzi starts off by admitting that there are obstacles in the way of crafting a winning offer. The chapter examines a number of traps, including mismatched value propositions, insufficient market research, and disregarding concerns raised by customers. Hormozzi offers advice on how companies can identify and stay clear of these traps by employing preventative measures and upholding a customer-focused philosophy. This chapter emphasizes the value of flexibility and a readiness to try new things. Hormozzi emphasizes that companies should be ready to absorb criticism, learn from their errors, and modify their offers and tactics as needed. Long-term success and constant development depend on this iterative process. The need of keeping an eye on market trends and outpacing rivals is also covered in this chapter. Hormozzi talks about how companies may stay ahead of the curve by monitoring market developments and modifying their products to suit changing consumer demands and competitive landscapes. 
practical examples and case studies are provided throughout the chapter to highlight typical mistakes and the approaches used by prosperous companies to avoid them. Readers can proactively handle problems with the help of Hormozy's insights, which will ultimately guarantee that their offers remain competitive, effective, and durable in the face of probable pitfalls. In conclusion, Chapter 12 serves as a guidance for companies to foresee and avoid typical problems while developing and executing proposals. Businesses may improve their chances of creating offers that not only draw attention but also withstand the intricacies of the always shifting business landscape by being aware of these issues and embracing a proactive and flexible approach. Chapter 13, The Future of Offers, in Chapter 13 of $100 Million Offers, Alex Hormozy examines how offers are changing and offers insights into new developments and trends that companies can take into account to succeed in the future. The first acknowledgement made in the chapter is of the dynamic nature of the business environment and the ongoing change of consumer preferences and behaviors. In order to be competitive, Hormozy talks about how crucial it is to keep ahead of the curve and adjust to shifting market conditions. This chapter focuses heavily on the idea of personalization. Hormozy explores the ways in which companies can use data analytics and technology to craft highly customized offers that meet the unique requirements and tastes of each client. The focus on customizing offerings to each customer's specific needs is a reflection of the growing tendency in marketing towards hyperpersonalization. The chapter also looks at how technology, like machine learning and artificial intelligence, will affect offers in the future. Hormozy talks on how these technologies may improve customer experiences, increase the effectiveness of offer creation, and give businesses insightful information to help them make data-driven decisions. Hormozy also discusses the significance of omni-channel tactics for offers in the future. He talks on how companies can easily combine many channels to give customers a unified and linked experience, making sure that deals are available and interesting on multiple platforms. The chapter uses case studies and real-world examples to show how companies have successfully adopted these upcoming trends in offer generation. Businesses can benefit from Hormozy's forward-thinking views by being encouraged to proactively implement novel methods and technology that will keep them ahead of the always changing landscape of offers. To put it briefly, Chapter 13 serves as a strategic review of offers future. Giving organizations insights into new trends and technologies that have the potential to influence the next stage of offer production and customer engagement. In a corporate world that is evolving quickly, companies can position themselves for sustained success by adopting these forward-thinking strategies. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of $100 million offers by Alex Hormozy. Stay tuned for more business insights and strategies. Until next time, this is Book Elixir, signing off. Take care.